All right, y'all. So today I'm gonna be showing y'all the best control settings to have for Rainbow Six Siege, and I'm on the PS4. So let's get into it. All right. So first, we're gonna start off with the general settings, uh, squad privacy. All this right here doesn't really matter. Ping it just shows um if you want to have that in the game. Display game info. I'm actually gonna turn that on. It just shows like. It'll show you all like your, your frames per second, all that in the corner. So, uh, you don't want to have that cycle cam zone and drive after prep. You should actually also have that on. This is basically where, when um, when you're droning and the rounds get ready to start, you know how you're, you'll automatically go to your character and you'll stop droning. Well, with this, you'll keep droning. So, that I'd actually like say have that on. All right, for the audio. Your language, that's whatever you speak. Same thing for that. Uh, you can put subtitles on if you want. I don't have them on. Uh, Master volume, you want that on 100 so you can hear everything that's going on because sound is very big in Rainbow. I turn the music off because I don't like hearing music in the game. This is how I am. Dialogue, I mean, I have it on 100. I mean, that's up to you. Uh, dynamic range mode this is for like people that use speakers so I use headphones when I play and usually more the most most normal people do so don't touch that voice chat I mean I get that on 100 All right now for video v-sync uh, I put that on just I'm not sure what it does so brightness you can put this whatever you want I'm gonna raise it a little bit, put it like, put it like 60. But like that, that's up to you. That it don't really matter. I mean, you don't want it too dark though. All right, now for the important part of the controls. So first things first, look inversion. You want to disable that because if you have that on, you know how you aim with your sticks. Imagine like flying a plane. You know how everything's backwards. So that's exactly how it would be. So you don't want to turn that on vibration you also want to turn this off because vibration is good it's just it's gonna it's gonna mess up your aim you're not gonna notice it but it will mess up your aim so I don't turn vibration on now your vertical sense you want to have this lower you want you want to have this lower than your horizontal sense because when you're going up and down you don't want it to be super fast so this is what mine is, you know, you obviously you don't got to copy what I'm doing, just, you know, I'm kind of trying to help you out so you know what to do, but your vertical sense should be lower, a lot lower than your horizontal. Uh, horizontal. And if you don't know what vertical is, it's up and down, horizontal is left and right. Okay, horizontal I got at 55 just because it's not, it's not like crazy fast and it's, it's damn sure not slow, so. It's like perfect, it's, it's like right in the middle. So I could still like turn around on someone real quick and kill them if I got to. So I think it's a perfect sense. Now, the reason I have my dead zone at 20, I'm actually gonna lower this. Now, the reason I had this uh, so high before, I actually didn't even know it was that high, is cause it's not, it's not this remote, but my old remote had like really bad analog drag. And it was on like both sticks like i'd be moving and i'd be like it is bad but it's a different remote so i'm actually gonna lower this i don't know what's gonna happen but basically what this is uh i didn't i didn't know my right stick was actually a five that's crazy i don't even have analog drag on the right stick but so if i were you if you have no analog drag and if you don't know what that is analog drag is basically where you'll just be sitting there not touching anything and your sticks start moving or something if that doesn't happen to you, put it at the lowest setting you could go to, which for Rainbow is 5. If you do have it, just keep testing out. Keep putting it to where, to whenever it doesn't do that. So I'm going to try 10. Cause I don't really think I got analog drag on this remote, even though if you can't tell, it's, uh, it's a little fucked up. As you can see, the back is uh, it's kind of missing. But I still don't got no analog drag though, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in 10 and see if I get any analog drag, but yeah, just keep testing it. See how low you can go without it doing it. So if I were just going to a custom game 
and yeah just try that shit out so that's what I got for that uh, controller rotation I remember I, I tried this setting and it's weird I wouldn't I don't know how to explain it but if I already just don't turn it on I, w I wouldn't turn it on but I do remember turning this setting on it's a little weird uh, aim assist obviously you want to have that on because if you're on a controller I mean come on I mean it's not like the aim assist is even crazy in this game but you still want to have it on because I mean master keyboard they got that precise ass aim they can just you feel me but controller yeah put that shit on all right so aiming down sights so this is uh th this is your sensitivity when you're aiming down the sight now this is once again you want to have this slower than your sensitivity when you're actually fucking um your normal sense because when you're aiming down a sight you don't want to just be going crazy with it with one tap of the button so you want to have it a lot slower mine's a 25 like i said you don't gotta copy what i'm doing just i'm giving you an idea what you should be doing uh gadget deployment all right so you want to have this on advanced because with this is um if you have it on standard when you're putting down like i don't know let's say a shield or something it's you it'll just when once you put it down you're putting it down there's nothing else to it when you have it on advanced you have to hold square, i think it's square to hold it down and try, little things like that you want to have on because let's say someone's shooting at you real fast and you gotta hurry up and stop or just stop putting it down you can do that if you have it on standard once you're locked into putting that thing down you putting it down so little things like that you want to just change that might seem like it's not a big idea drone deployment uh with this you know how i think when it when it's on standard and when you throw the drone uh you automatically go right into the drone you have it on advanced when you throw that drone uh you don't you don't immediately go into it. you have to manually do it so let's say you're trying to bait someone or you hear something little things like that you want to have that shit on trust me and Control layout is just, you know, if you want to change your controls, <clears throat> I don't think you want to change any of those, though, trust me. So, that's basically it. Uh, I would like to, I, I would like to try mouse and keyboard on here, on the PS4, but I thought you could just plug it in and do your little thing with it, but it turns out you can't, so, yeah, but... That's basically it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this helped you out. If I taught you some, so uh, fuck with your boy, man, and I'm out.